Do it for four weeks. You gotta do cardio. That's next week. You gotta do it twice a day. You gotta start now. I'm doing it already. I already did cardio. Right, make sure you're ripped. You got fat around your middle. I'm just being honest. Rip that fat off. You gotta about 400 pounds. Yeah, make sure you're ripped. You got fat around your middle. I'm just being honest. Rip that fat off. You got about four weeks to be in shape because you don't want to do it the last week. You gotta, you gotta fill out the last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you better the next four weeks. You gotta put yourself through hell. That's like in a couple days, right? About a couple days. Yeah. I would start Monday. Monday, yeah. Monday. I mean, Monday. you've been dieting, but you got to step it up. Monday, I'm going to eat fucking... Uh, so do I'm I. I'm going to eat canned sushi. Canned, not canned sushi. Canned, canned salmon, bro. Canned That's salmon. fine. Canned What's salmon, up, canned a little, Too much fat in the salmon. Just have the salmon once a week. Tuna. You'll get good omega-3s. Yeah, you could, you could eat, like the old school. They used to eat tuna, tuna. and water. Tuna and water. And little else, maybe some green vegetables. You eat that, like, every three hours, a cheap can of tuna. You're gonna get ripped. That's yeah. what they did in the 70s. Yeah, that's what they, they did. They were ripped. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that and I'm gonna drink water. And you just gotta remember, you gotta come on that stage looking. You come in ripped, you're gonna shock some people. That's all you need. You got the size. Yeah. Believe me, yeah. your legs are gonna look disgusting. And wait till you shave up and tan, too. Oh, it's this. It's so sick. Just remember, that's the key. Haters it's are gonna the key hate. for both of us. They're all jealous of our, they're admiring me and Lenny. They're jealous. Jealous. So 99% of those cookie cutter freaking haters will never be able to freaking compete in their lives. They're probably skinny or fat and jacking off on their computers watching us lift this sickening weight like Lenny is. Freak. Look at this fucking freak. Let's see these little chums do this type of weight. I bet you they can't even pick up an iron board. Lenny, you got Jason using the term cookie cutter. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I would like to mention where that term came from. Me and Andrew Kalor were actually in this gym about 13 years ago when it opened. And there was an older man in here that looked like Columbo, if you remember that show from the 70s. I know you porn addicts probably never even heard of it or saw it, but Google it, Columbo. He would talk with that, that way he talked too, you know, with that draw, that, I don't know if it's a New York draw, but he said, we were actually in the back shaving ourselves. I mean, we're talking mounds of hair all over the place. This is when we were like really hairy. And he came up and says, he goes, you know what? He goes, I like you guys. Because you guys, you're not like the cookie cutters coming into gyms he's seen all his life. Coming in with the fanny packs and the get ups and the outfits, the pretty boys. Because you guys do your own thing. Because you're not the cookie cutter type. So that's how we got that term. So out. he passed the cookie cutter torch to you and you're now passing the cookie cutter torch to Jason. Basically. Right, Jason's never been a cookie cutter because he never followed the, the trends. Anytime you see somebody get an earring or a tattoo or a hairstyle that goes like this or wear an affliction shirt, so that's a cookie cutter a move. That's you know cookie cutter behavior. Did you originate that? Obviously not. You saw it before. I don't care who you are. You see the cars down here. They used to have the music blaring out. You know, even the rappers, the biggest whatever they're the biggest cookie cutters known to man. Look the same, talk the same. If you can find one that's original, you know, you can say, hey, he's not a cookie cutter, but just count them on. It's like one in a billion. And I'm one of them. So is Jason. And that's what the misfits are, too. You're not a misfit if you're a cookie cutter. Oh, there we have our cookie cutter. We have our sheep, actually, Bradley, who's not here. But that's what that term means. We're going to be lifting weights seven days a week, seven days a week, around the clock, twice a day, cardio twice a day. <laughs> I'm going to train like a freak. I'm coming out peeled, you bitches. <laughs> you right. Peeled. Peeled. You can hate and be admiring, you haters. You're just jealous and yellow. Jealous as fuck. You're admiring. Get ready for war on fucking 26. Now, like I said, anybody want to challenge me after prejudging? You know? They I'll, want to challenge me. I'll They're, be dehydrated. You can challenge me to a brawl. We'll have it on camera. No, <laughs> me too. We'll have a brawl. We'll have a, liability brawl. Form and we'll have a brawl. I'll put you in the fucking Chris Benoit sleeper, bitch. 18 inch arms. Chris Benoit, the Canadian crippler. Another Canadian. <laughs> it's piss.